morning everybody so my house is usually this dark when I get up nobody's up yet except for the dog who always wants to go for a walk and over here my guys are still sleeping so shh don't bother them so now I have on my hat and my sweater and my super baggy pants and there's somebody who's just standing around waiting for me to hurry up and go his tail says, let's go this way, hurry up. You know why I don't like those? Because when I was a teenager, I got up to get some milk in the middle of the night, barefoot, and I smashed one in the dark. I had no idea what I had stepped on, and when I looked down, it was like creamed in between my toes. It was so disgusting. Here we are again, walking in the rain. I might be the only person in the world who walks their dog when it rains. Do you walk your dog when it rains? I missed my workout this morning, mainly because I um, stayed up kind of late, finishing up all the things that I have to do for the, you know, every time I upload a video, I like to post a blog about it. I like to put it, um, put it on my Pinterest uh, pin or board and Instagram about it because a lot of my hair tutorials like especially lately are not getting as many views as they used to and um, I'm not sad about that you know like the number of views like that doesn't motivate me but but what I can tell by that information is that not a lot of my viewers are getting it in their subscription box and um, I didn't know this until people started telling me, and I told you guys this before, that like people were telling me, you know, like, where have you been? Why haven't you been uploading? I'm like, what? I'm uploading like at least once a week. If I miss a week um, with my hair tutorials, it's only because um, like I'm either really busy with my regular job or my little one is sick. But otherwise, you guys know, like I'm always uploading hair tutorials. Um, also in December I'm going to be doing a few giveaways because I have contacted a few or I've been in contact with a few sponsors um, who want to do some contests on my channel. So um, yeah. Anyway. Nope. My little friend is gone. We're back from our walk. I hope you enjoyed yours. What I'm going to start doing is looking for breakfast. I have um, leftover waffles from this weekend. I made these. So I'll warm those up for hubby. And for me, I like steaming these in the morning. They're Brussels sprouts. And I'll eat these with my typical morning breakfast, which is egg whites. Egg whites. And what else do I want? I feel like eating, probably put some of these with, some of these with our breakfast. They're pretty good. They're just like little tangerines. So I'll put those in our breakfast. Drink almond milk with um, spinach. Finish bag. Um, yeah, so, oh, I'm missing avocado, but I have leftover uh, guacamole from uh, Chipotle, which is like my favorite uh, place to eat. So right I was now. thinking, I missed the gym today, and I feel really bad about it, but um, I keep t forgetting and I keep telling myself that you know going to the gym isn't going to make a difference in the way that my body looks it's going to be all about what I eat so as long as I maintain my um, food routine for the rest of the week I should be good which means that I can't do things like you know give this to my little one which I plan on doing it is a countdown to Christmas and inside each one there is a little chocolate and last year I got this and what I would do is I would 
open it before he'd wake up and then I'd put a little vitamin in there for the day like his little you know Flintstone vitamins or whatever and then he'd open it and there'd be a little vitamin of course and then with the chocolate I would either eat it or I would give it to my husband put it in his lunch um, but I can't do that I don't want to do that because I want to stay fit and um, chocolate is not part of my weekly diet um, weekend diet chocolate is okay but um, yeah not Monday mornings <sighs> so yes I need to get started I just got done dropping off my little boy at school um, Mondays are always hard because you know you spend so much time with your family and you know whether you're working or I mean working from home like me or you're lazing around like we did too I miss my family you know my car is it's empty there's like hardly any noise there's no music like usual and um, I just miss them so but you know got to make the most of it today is going to be a very busy day for me in the office I have a few major things to take care of Actually, this whole week is going to be this way, and it feels like the entire month of December is just filled with, like, major tasks. And it's like, I feel like, you know, December is supposed to be kind of chill, because it's like right before Christmas, you know, but it's not like that. It seems to be like, for me at least, like in the office, Decembers are like so busy, and, um like Fridays especially are super busy it's like everybody starts giving me things to do on Fridays or I run into like tasks that I have to take care of and it's like what the heck <laughs> you know usually people have like you know calmer weekends or Fridays and then calmer like holiday times but ours gets like really so busy. I have to return some shoes that I bought for my son online I bought them from zappos.com and I'm not like you know endorsed by them or um, they're not like my sponsor or anything like that but uh, but yeah I bought some shoes there and the shoes didn't fit him they were like a little too slim for his feet they were the right size but they were a little too slim so when I tried to put them on him he was like they're too small so I had to exchange them so that's what I have to do today during my lunch break and I also wanted to return this top that I got from uh, the store um, which I tried on um at home and I didn't really like it like normally when I see something at the store like 90% um, of the time I can just look at it and tell if it's going to fit me right or if it's going to fit me kind of funky but um I guess this time I was wrong it fit me funky So I've already dropped off one of the packages that I had to return, which was my son's shoes. And now I am going to go into another store and then exchange this top that I bought. Um, before I exchange it, I'll show it to you guys. I actually really liked it a lot, um, but when I went home and I tried it on, it just didn't fit right, like I said before. This top that I bought is actually from Goodwill. It's really hard to see. It's like a blouse, um, and I would wear, I wear this to work, which is why I like shopping there because most of the stuff I'll wear like once or twice and then I'll just donate it again. I'll return it to Goodwill in the donation center. And I thought it was really pretty. Um, it has a real soft sort of fabric and I liked this folding or um, um, pleating, is that what it's called? That it has in it I really like that and I thought oh this is so pretty for work like to wear with like some dress pants and heels but when I put it on it just fit like too wide too big um, I totally thought it was gonna cinch a little bit because um, because of the way that it's folded like that but it didn't um, but the size does say wide there and I did see that when I was buying it but I thought when I looked at it that it would be okay but it's not okay so Hopefully they'll give me an exchange. Also, I didn't buy it at this location. I bought it at another location, so I'm hoping they're not like, oh, you have to go to that one, because I don't see why they would do that, right? So we'll see what happens.
Okay, this has to be full fur. Let's see how much this is if they're going to put the price up really high. Okay, 15 bucks. Not bad. Well, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. I actually ran into a, a bit of a problem. The return time is seven days, and it's been more than seven days. It's been like two weeks or something like that since I bought that top. And um, let me make sure you guys don't fall. Um, when I, I called, because I bought this top at another location, like I said, and then I came to return it here because it's closer to me. And when I called the other location, they told me, you have seven days to um, return it for a refund, and then you have 30 days to return it for an exchange or to come in for an exchange. And um, so I said, okay, well, I'm going to go to another location to try to exchange it there. And I walked in here, and I told the girl what I wanted to do, and she was like, yeah, just leave the bag here with the, the top and then go and shop for what you want and then come back and get your exchange or your, you know, the credit for your, for the things that you're buying today. And, um, so I did that. I ended up buying some things so that I can use for my backgrounds. Um, I like to change the colors in my background whenever I can. Lately I haven't been, but usually I used to like to do that. So I bought some things for my background and then, um, I bought a sweater which you guys might have already seen. I bought that green sweater. And um, yeah, so as I was going to pay, the girl behind the counter, she was really nice cashier. She says, um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge you for your, you know, the stuff that you're buying today. And then I'll give you a refund for the items. And she's like, is that okay? And you know, me without thinking about you know, a few steps ahead, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You know, I'm thinking she knows what she's doing, so do whatever you got to do to make your life easier. And so she, she gave, you know, she charged me for the things that I bought. And then she tells me that she can't give me the refund because I've waited more than seven days. And I'm like, well, yeah, for a refund, but I'm here to exchange, which is what I had just told her like two seconds ago. And she was like, oh, that's right. And she's like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. I ended up holding up the line and people were getting irritated. People were like, you know, um, leaving their stuff and walking out because of me. I was like, no. <laughs> um, but I did end up getting my credit. The I guess the store manager ended up helping me out um, because of my situation. And I was able to get what I needed. But he told me that it was a one-time thing and they don't do this often. So now I've got to go and get something to eat and finish it within the next 10 minutes because my lunch break is over. So that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. I'm so ugh, upset by that. Not in a, not upset at the girl or at this, you know, situation, but like now I have to get something really fast to eat. And I hate eating like that. I hate eating in a rush. So now I got to figure out what the heck am I going to eat? stuck for her lord knows how long in that black car that's right there that black car right there if he was to move out of the way I could go through there and get my lunch because I can turn but look at how beautiful the clouds look today it's gorgeous so this is what I ended up ordering for lunch it's from Pollo Loco and I asked for some avocado slices but they kind of mashed it on there and it's just their pollo salad bowl, but I usually eat it with no dressing. I really like the taste of the cilantro on it. And I don't know if you guys have seen my outfit of the day, but these are the leggings that I'm wearing, my boots, and then my comfy sweater. And I think you guys, um, if you guys want to see like the full outfit, there's a link in my Instagram. Whoops. 
where you guys can see that but this is my beautiful lunch of the day I gotta hurry up and eat it within the next five minutes no time to brush my teeth or touch up my makeup as soon as I was done I put it back in my little bag here and I'm gonna start heading back to the office so I'm leaving the office for the day sorry it's so dark but it gets dark now earlier um, and I had a pretty productive day. One of my meetings got canceled, which I guess is pretty good. Another one, which was kind of stressing me out, um, it got taken care of. So I checked that one off my list and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then I got some packages from my box. I went to pick it up and I'm so excited, you guys. Like, let me see if I can show you what I got. I got some really pretty things. Um, I don't know if I should show you yet. Turn the light again. Um, because I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing, like I said, a lot of giveaways in December. I have a few. I have a few sponsors. And I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just that I'm just so excited about it. And I know a lot of people are going to be excited to participate in this. So, um, yeah, I got my package in the mail. I wish I could go home and film tonight, but realistically, I should wait until um, the weekend to film because then that way I can dedicate more time and effort into the video. Um, I just really quickly want to touch up my makeup. I haven't touched up my makeup all day, and I have to go pick up my son right now. <sighs> and I don't want to look like I'm tore up in front of my in-laws but I usually just kind of like touch up my makeup a little bit also you just never know who you might run into on your way home so I always just do a little bit of touching up before I head out home and then that way when my husband comes home I don't have to touch up too much anymore so this kind of saves me a little bit of time so I just do a little bit of face powder a little bit of blush and then I sometimes I put some lipstick on I think I might just do this one. This one's pretty easy. It's just like a pretty red color to add to my lips. So yeah. And I tried to drink like enough water today, but I think I didn't drink enough because my lips are so dry. But other than that, I mean, I had a pretty good day. I'm uh, just looking forward to going home. Today's going to be a short night for me once I get home. I'm going to get home and then I'm going to clean up a little bit, fold some laundry, and I'm going to bed. Not too exciting. So I decided to come shopping. Here's my shopping cart. Stuff. I need. And. Um. What else do I need? I don't think I need anything from this aisle. We don't drink. But, oh, you know what? This is my addiction right here. But I can't have those because I have a slight allergy to it. Oh, and I got some of these. These are like part of my favorite. And also, which ones are the other ones? Oh, this one's right here. These ones. These are really good. So, yeah. Oh, my little boy loves these right here. But he has kind of an addiction to it, so I don't really buy it as often. I feel like all I've been doing today is just like having you guys go with me on errands. And doesn't it seem like most vloggers, like that's all you do is like you just see them, you just watch them like run errands. <sighs> well, that's life though. You know, that's all you're doing is just like trying to get things done and get the heck out of the house sometimes instead of just hanging out there all day, you know grocery shopping, dropping kids off at school, going to work. I mean, that's normal, right? That's normal life, is it? <laughs> I mean, unless like you're a YouTube uh, YouTuber who gets to work 100% from home, 
who has like a lot of uh, views on their videos. I'm not there. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be there, but I'm definitely not, not there. And uh, my office job is definitely stable. Um, I mean, nothing's stable, you know, like you never know when you're going to lose your job. I'm not trying to say that it's like permanent, but it's stable enough where, you know, I have a regular amount of money coming in and I'm um, not too worried about that. Whereas YouTube, it's like if people don't watch your videos, then that's it. Then you don't, you know, you don't make very much money. And um, I had mentioned before that my videos in October, I got a lot of views and I know that it was because of the Halloween stuff. And because of that, I was able to like improve my background a little bit and I was able to, um, you know, get some stuff for my videos, which I've ordered and um, I was able to put together extra time to, to order prizes for giveaways and stuff like that. So the money, like I try to invest it back into the videos um, as opposed to like going crazy, crazy shopping, like buying myself clothes and shoes and then like posting pictures of myself so you guys can see that. Um, I mean, you guys see that I shop at like really, really cheap places and I do that so that I can put more of my money into my videos. Um, so yeah, I have a couple that are coming up really soon and hopefully you guys will like it and watch it. Oh man, I'm so tired today. I can't believe today is over. Monday wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to End be. of my day and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my vlog and I know that um, not very much goes on in these types of days you know it's kind of like very very simple things I wish I had like lots of events happening so you guys can be there with me but you know it's Monday and Mondays are kind of boring for me um, maybe if I film on a Wednesday uh, it'll be a lot better even Friday might be better bye